Monday. Where on earth did that weekend go? I literally feel like I've blinked and missed it entirely. Time is flying by now, so it's gonna be Christmas in no time. I just feel like this month's gonna zoom on by and yeah, we new year before we know it. Um, I'm back to work today. I have got a bit of a later start because I'm going to visit a primary school as we're currently doing our application for Paisley to start in September, which is exciting. I can't believe my baby's so big, bless her. So yeah, off to work in a minute. Just gonna do the advent calendars quickly before we go. And then after work, I hope we're going to get a Christmas tree. It's so exciting. Hey baby, who's first today? Me. Which, yeah. which one would you like to start with? Uh, I'd like to start with that one. Okay. That one's my first one. What one is now? You're coming after me. We're yeah. starting with the dairy milk Cadbury's one this morning. Can you find number two? No. No? How are you going to have the jockey then? Can you find it? Um, yeah, here it is. Can I give him one assistant? Says, can you do a Christmas dance? <laughs> is that a Christmasy dance? <laughs> Bless her. Um, we've got, these are dreadful. I literally have no idea. What do you think that looks like? <laughs> what do you think that looks like? Maybe an elf once upon a time? No, a monkey. A monkey? A monkey elf. Oh, a monkey elf. That sounds amazing. I'm going to have mine as well, which is the same. Why? Okay, okay, okay. Here's Brenny's dog calendar. Can you see the number two? Mm -hmm. Here it is. Oh, and here he is, jumping up on my leg. He's got a little Santa Claus. Oh. Which we're not going to get focused on, so sit down, pup. Push your paw. No. Right. No. Now for the fun ones. The big Frozen 2 calendar. You see the big number two? No. What, you're not looking? Yeah. You're not, you're just saying no. What about this one? Yeah. Yeah? Oh! I'm dressed on the shoes. Oh, on a drop of it. On a dress and on a shoes, that is amazing. I think that one's gonna be on. Look at her, she got any, she, she's got shoes on, so you've got a spare outfit now. That's, um. That's Elsa's shoes. I think they're on us. Super cute. Can we get them out? Not right now. Let's keep it in there until we've got a bit more in our set, okay? And then we can set it all up nicely. Yeah. I love this one. And so now cool. should we do this? Should we do your storybook one? I think what we should do is read one of these books every night before bed. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, can you find the number two? No. <laughs> How did mummy know you was going to say that? Here you go. What's the story? What's the story? Mulan! How's that? Good. Yeah? Why did you put up one? We've got the story of Mulan. We just ate chocolate. <laughs> For breakfast. Well, you've already had your breakfast, haven't you? So, <laughs> it was calendars. Yes? And so, Bren has one too. Bren loves his calendar. There we go. And Popcorn Bucket Pluto from Disney World's made an appearance, look baby. Can you remember where we got him? Yeah. Animal Kingdom, last year. Mm-hmm. He's so cute. Anyway, we gotta go, baby. I've got to get to work and to look at this school. You ready to go to Nanny's? Uh, I might wanna Oh my goodness. Um okay. Come on then, Paisley and Pluto. 
we're home it's about six o'clock just waiting for harvey to come through the door posey is just playing and i'm cooking dinner i'm having another one of those um vegan friendly sausages that i had the other day because they're so yummy i can't stop thinking about them so having one of those i'm gonna do harvey some soup posey has eaten at my nan's and then once we've all eaten we're gonna go to b and q i think to get a christmas tree all those little christmas tree places i just drove past on the way home so if that's still open by the time we get out we might have a look there i've heard that you have to buy the tree and then leave him outside for like a few days to a week so that he doesn't come in the house and get a shocker because it's like hot and all our downstairs is under floor heating as well so we'd end up with some bald twigs for christmas day if we put him up too soon and he gets too hot which obviously wouldn't be ideal we don't want that so we'll speak to the guys in the store as well because i'm sure that they know i'm looking forward to that the school that i visited for paisley this morning was really nice i love it i think i'm going to put it at the top of our application list although i do still have one to visit in a couple of weeks time um yeah it was really cute i can't believe she's going to be going to primary school in september it's, it's madness it's christmas tree time we're heading into b and q so hopefully they've got one the kind of size that we'd like we only want a little one we don't want it to be too much of a chubby boy because we haven't got a lot of space we want like a long thin christmas tree so we'll see i know that real ones aren't typically like that so Ooh. we'll see half ages you can do it if you b and q it <laughs> <laughs> no baby no i don't think so <laughs> wow baby look at all the lights <laughs> Oh, yeah. Clever girl, well done. That's the kind of size we need for our house. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Skinny Mindrel, or that one. It's so many quid. But it's quite a pretty one, though. Yeah, it is quite a pretty one. That one's really nice. That's what we need for our house. That display is probably bigger than our home. <laughs> get oh, look, Christmas sausage dog, baby. So, in all seriousness, this is the kind of size that we're looking for. Six foot. Our, our one must be eight foot at home then, Harvacious. Well, this little one is six foot, apparently. This tiny one. Our, how high are these? No, it is not. Seven Your, foot, maybe. I think it's eight foot. That one's really pretty. It's the same height, isn't it? Is that a real? I know it's not. But if there's not a good real one. I know. The one we've got at home is more like this one. Um, but it has like thick, thick snow on it and it goes everywhere. Yes, darling? That we said we would get a tree uh, like a teddy. A tree like a teddy? That's a cool idea. So let's go outside and look at the real deals. Which is your favourite tree? Uh, maybe one with snow and underground. And the, you like that little skinny one, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I like it too. I would happily just have that. I don't know if last year we just got these really late, but Mommy, they are everywhere. Did... Yeah, we couldn't find that anywhere. I think we did get it quite late. They were sold out. I can't buy that down, mate. <laughs> are you excited? Oh, this little one's cute. They're fat, though. That's the trouble. But I suppose if we had a fat one, but not too tall, he wouldn't be in the way too much. I should probably say wide, not fat. His I don't like his branches, they're really Thin. skinny. A little fur cut Norman, 22 bucks, he's quite nice. They smell nice. What do you keep them in then, a pot or? Yeah, but then we've got a stand, but how do you, how do you water them? Put water in there. We'll go on the floor. No. This is how we shop the Christmas tree forest. Choose your tree, check the name and colour on the price tag. Take your tree to be netted. Oh good, because I was worried we'd have to net him ourselves on this thing. They smell so nice. Christmas trees! My mum ordered hers online last year and ended up with one of these. She thought she was getting a normal medium-sized one. 
uh, my, made space for it my special effort to come up in the car emptied all her car out and picked up a, a little one they're super cute though we don't know what to do really because none of them are like the ideal shape that we're looking for do you like this do you like this one cut norman fur norman i quite like him 39 i, we, I like the there. size i don't know what is wrong with those ones they're on the tilt and I don't know how you um, fix them and like dress them. I don't, know how, yeah, I don't know how you take them. No, I don't know if these are just display. There's no though. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. That might be for the lights or the star. Oh, it's the lights. It's the lights. Let's just demonstrate the lights. Which one do you like, sweetheart? Show me. I like. Woo! Christmas! What one do you like? Yeah? Cool That's choice. We're done in being here. We've not found the perfect tree. So I think we're going to head over to Tesco's or there's actually a Sainsbury's next door, but I don't know if they do them. I haven't seen them in there yet, but I have seen them in Tesco. We're going to go have a look. This is open till 8, so it's always going to be an option to come back. I really want to find the perfect tree today. Destination 2. We made it to Tesco. And I don't think there are any real ones from what we can see looking in. But we're gonna head in and have a look. Okay, so there are some real ones. They're called Norman as well. It must be the name of the tree. I like the other Norman. The problem being with these trees is that you can't see the size. So we could get it home and it could be a big fat tree that's, that, wasn't, that won't fit. That one is quite skinny. <laughs> I don't know what to do really, do you? What should we do? I don't know. Look. The toys. We'll look at the toys in a minute. <laughs> the purchase has been made. We've got a long skinny Christmas tree. Harvey, do you think it's the one? I hope so. <laughs> Norman the Christmas tree. They're all called Norman, so ours has got to be as well. How much was he? 25. 25. Not bad at all. Our first time trying a real tree. So if we like this one, we'll be able to get a massive one next time. Make room for it. Harvey wants to rearrange the furniture this year, but I'm not fancying it. Hadn't really thought about this bit, had we? <laughs> it doesn't fit in the car. It will. Skinny norms, doesn't fit. What about in the boot, poking through the yeah. middle? Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you get to sit next to Norman. Here he comes. Why? <laughs> That's our Christmas tree. Oh my goodness, it's leaking. It's gonna. It's Christmas tree. Oh. I don't want to sit next to Norman. <laughs> Doesn't he smell so nice? No. Hi, Norman. I don't want to sit next to him. Be kind to him. Do you like the Christmas tree, baby boy? Yeah! <laughs> Norman's home. There he is. We're going to leave him out here tonight. Has he got water or not yet? Not yet. What is the matter? I don't know you open them. What do you mean? Open it up overnight. So I like um, to let it breathe. I don't think you do. I think you leave it in the packet. We'll Google it in a minute. Yeah. Hello, Norman. I'm Brannis. <laughs> you silly man. <laughs> Yeah, going to leave him out here to stand for a few days in the spring in the stand with some water. Uh, my granddad's going to come and saw the bottom off tomorrow. He's got an electric saw and he said that's a healthy thing to do for a Christmas tree. Um, and then we'll have the grand reveal. So that's the Christmas tree extravaganza done and dusted 2019. Hopefully... Norman turns out to be everything we ever dreamed of in a Christmas tree and more and we'll see in the next few days. I think tomorrow we're going to get all the decks out of the shed and get them lined up, cleaned up, ready, untangle the lights and then we might put the tree out Wednesday. I don't want to put him up too soon because I don't want him to struggle as I think I said earlier with the underfloor heating and things and end up with twigs on Christmas day. So we'll give him a few days in the garden to get used to his new surroundings. 
before we bring Norman in. And I think what we're gonna do is put him here where the table is. That's where we've been putting our big one, but the, our big one literally comes out from the wall, probably to the rug, and then it goes all the way to the ceiling. So it's super big, and you obviously then can't see half the, term, half the TV. Just watching Karen. If Karen. not, backup plan. We're gonna move the dining room table all the way back up against the wall, like put the chairs away, stack them up or something, and try them here, in front of the key thingy here. Um, that's why we need a skinny one, because we don't have a lot of space. So fingers crossed for Norm. We shall see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching.